What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Since so about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So as expected, Halloween ends did have its first trailer debut at CinemaCon tonight. And Jamie Lee Curtis presented it just like she did at the start of the trilogy for Halloween 2018 at CinemaCon. So it's all come full circle. And she basically came out and just gushed over Lori Strode initially. And her time as the character, she says that Lori represents every woman standing up to their figurative boogeyman. She called Lori the ride of her life to play. But all good things must come to an end. This Halloween will be Lori Strode's final stand against Michael Myers. That's essentially what she had to say. So this, I guess, confirms that this will be Lori Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis's final portrayal of the character as it is written right now, because we know things could change, but it seems like she's stepping away from this character after this movie. Going off of the fact that with this movie, this will be her final role as the character there are some some emotional spots there for me only because of and i'm sure many of you only because of the fact that we've rewatched these movies countless times we've known how embedded she has been in this series even though there's several that she hasn't been in Lori Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis, that's what she is going to be known for. And she has actually made a statement like this herself where she states that when she passes, um, that headlines are going to read Halloween star has passed away. And I'm very thankful for what she has brought to the table with this role. And I'm thankful for how embedded she is into the final girl final girl discussion i'm just thankful for everything jamie lee curtis has brought to the character for this is indeed her final time so a big thank you to you jamie lee curtis and thank you for all the memories but reactions to the footage came out as well so i'll just start getting into that and it says first trailer for halloween ends footage uses or uses footage from all the films to tie everything together that being the david gordon green films with jamie lee curtis or it ends with jamie lee curtis fight, fighting michael myers for the last time thumbs up Hashtag CinemaCon. Now, there's actually some more details that come out in these other tweets that reveal that Michael and Lori have a kitchen brawl. And someone else said the trailer for Halloween Inn serves as a tribute to the legacy of Lori Strode and Michael Myers fans of the franchise. Look like they're in for a real treat as this franchise comes to an end. The trailer looked awesome. So again, there's going to be other tweets that come up on the screen very shortly that talk about the fact that Michael and Lori have a, I guess, pretty intense kitchen brawl or standoff. And I'm going to assume that this trailer will get to see it in June. But it says, playing us a great reel of Lori Strode's ride through Halloween with some scary, gory, and insanely brutal scenes for Halloween ends, including an awesome confrontation between her and Michael Myers. Um, now, again, it didn't mention the kitchen there, but there's going to be another tweet, several other tweets coming up on your screen shortly that I recorded and just brought along for this video. Because apparently Michael and Lori will have a kitchen brawl or some type of confrontation, I guess, in a kitchen setting where Lori gets the upper hand. So it says, we just got our first look at Halloween ends featuring a wild brawl between michael and lori in a kitchen fighting each other michael throws lori across the room lori grabs a knife and stabs michael through the hand it ends with lori holding a knife over a trapped michael myers so i'm curious how that is actually going to play out how that looks on screen now i'm curious to see how intense this sequence will be in the trailer itself here comes another last minute tweet that i grabbed before i went ahead and started recording this video so this is from 3c film shout out to you every scream every scare every slash has led to this first trailer for halloween ends uses old footage from current canon movies and ends with a battle between michael and laurie in a kitchen where laurie attacks him by surprise so again this confrontation that's happening in kitchen i'm excited to see this i've also seen like a tweet come out where it basically has described Lori Strode versus Michael Myers ending this 44 years of rivalry ending on or in October this year so it seems like this is very much so going to be marketed around the fact that this will be Jamie Lee Curtis's final portrayal as the character and I think that's a very good way to kind of market it honestly a good way to get at or pull at people's emotional aspect get them invested in the narrative even though a lot of us feel that Michael Myers and Laura Strode or just Halloween Kills in general was a step down from what we got in 2018 it seems like the consensus going out of CinemaCon for people who have seen footage is that this looks like it's a step up my big hopes is that it is something that's more character driven we get to see and hear what these characters have been up to for the past four years learning how allison has adapted and how she's been dealing with what happened to her mother and her father and some of her friends and her ex-boyfriend learning what laurie has been up to how has this brought them closer together what is Lindsay up to what is michael myers been up to for the past four years i don't think that's really going to get concretely answered but maybe we find out that he's still been out there active and just been going on this rampage i know there's someone named baxter or a missing poster for Baxter that I know showed up at one point as a set image that many people, myself included, speculated maybe that was a victim Michael Myers killed in between his absence from Haddonfield from 2018 to now. 
and just seeing how this all wraps up and the fact that they're doing exactly what i thought they would do marketing and starting to get it hyped up as the final confrontation between michael myers and laurie strode which again i i guess many of you would say is shades of what they did for halloween 2018 but if this is actually jamie lee curtis's final portrayal as the character then again big thank you to you jamie lee curtis if you ever hear this video i appreciate everything you brought to the character i appreciate your stance in the horror horror community i appreciate everything that relates to what you brought to the character and you are indeed one of the best final girls that we've ever gotten in a horror franchise so big thank you thank you for all the memories i do hope that laurie strode has a pretty good ending whether it be good or bad in the sense of her living or dying that's not what i mean regardless if she lives or dies just hoping that it's fulfilling and fitting for the character something that makes her makes her exit from this franchise memorable something that completely corrects her exit in halloween resurrection and this just seems like honestly with these three movies how jamie lee has had an opportunity to come back and kind of go out on a better term than what she originally went out with because for the longest time her exit from the halloween franchise was regarded as one of the most heinous things she was the og i guess sally hardesty <laughs> texas chainsaw 2022 as we saw her treated in resurrection so her original exit from the franchise will hopefully be washed away and not be regarded as something that is a slap in the face to her character anymore hopefully her exit here again is not relying on her living or dying it's more so how are you executing that how does she die how does she live on what is she dealing with now in this movie how how does she progress how is she going to be shaped how is she shaped everyone else in her life her her granddaughter Lindsay. how close are these three women after what's happened in halloween kills in 2018 and if this is her final portrayal as a character hopefully they do her justice hopefully this can be something we all look back at and say that this is one of the best final girls giving her swan song i guess they call it performance and leaving behind a character that she's known and loved for many years and i know this is very emotional for her i, I wasn't in attendance at CinemaCon, so i don't know how emotional she was while giving that initial speech talking about Lori. but maybe we'll get the first trailer online in june but let me know what you guys think about the footage descriptions down in the comment section below what do you think is going to go down in that kitchen if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post vacation and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video